Welcome back. If you're a fan of 80s pop culture, you might want to check out the new book from our next guest. It is called Ready Player One. Austin author Ernest Klein, who joins us now in the studio. Okay, good to see you. First Thank of all, one reviewer says describes this as Tron meets Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, right? Loaded with cool 80s references. Tell us about the book. Everybody's raving about it. Um, well, it's uh, it might it might be the, the geekiest book ever yeah. written. <laughs> it's um, it's kind of it's about a it is kind of a cross between Willy Wonka. Uh, and the Matrix, people have called it, yeah. or other kind of uh, 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 cyberpunk kind of adventures. But it's about a video game contest in the future held by an eccentric billionaire who's kind of a mashup of Bill Gates right. and Richard Garriott and Mark Zuckerberg. That, that kind of a, uh, and he's a huge nerd, a huge uh, 80s pop culture yeah. geek. And he, when he dies, he leaves behind his company and his entire fortune to whoever can solve these video game puzzles. Central maybe. character, Wade Watts. It's kind of an underdog story as well because this guy is... Not really, uh, the real world kind of scares him a little bit, and he spends a lot of his time online in this game in Oasis, right? And then eventually has to confront that fear. It's true, uh, and I try to uh, make Wade sort of a, a, a a uh, geek archetype, sort of yeah. all a combination of all the you know uh, myself and all the you know super nerds that I've known uh, over the years, and uh, and it is. I I grew up reading a lot of Roald Dahl uh, uh -huh. uh, and like stories like James and Giant Peach and Charlie yeah. and the Chocolate Factory, and he always had these kind of uh, underdog young protagonists. They're in a horrible situation, and then they you know something happens that takes them off on a fantastic adventure right. uh, that lifts them out of their you know uh, uh, their rotten lives. Yeah, so. it, yeah. I was reading your resume. Short order cook, fish gutter. Plasma donor. Okay. It's true. I was in college. <laughs> Hugely successful author and screenwriter as well. I mean, it, it, we joke about it, but how, how difficult was it to translate everything you knew and, and have known growing up and, and just living uh, the way you have into this book? Uh, it was really difficult. This was the hardest uh, 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 writing job of my life uh, yeah. and took me the longest. I, I would, I wrote, um, I've written about a dozen screenplays, but uh -huh. this is my first novel, and I would work on the novel and get frustrated and then go stop and write another screenplay and then revisit it because I really believed in the story mm -hmm. and I could never let go of it, but it was, you know, a lot more, uh, a lot more words on the page than yeah. in a screenplay and a lot, sure. uh, a lot more pages. Uh, so it's a lot more writing and it was a lot more work, but, uh, but I finally finished it, you know, a few years ago and I was just hoping to, you know, sell it enough to, so my family could get a new car. I you was going to say, the yeah. Camry was running low. Fanboys <laughs> from cult film from 09, uh, also your work. Surprised from this that, that th as soon as you were done, the, the publishers are bidding over this, kind of have a war, and then uh, about who gets the rights to it, and then they print advanced copies, thousands more than former President Bush's autobiography. I mean, and also rights now to the movie. It's going to be on the screen. The, yeah, the and Warner Brothers. It's going to be overwhelming. It's totally overwhelming. Yeah. And the last thing I expected, I mean, I really was just writing a, a story to, uh, to, to please myself, and I thought, you know, a few other people would dig it, but I would not, I never uh, uh, imagined that it would have yeah. kind of mass appeal that it seems to have. Okay, this is the cover of the book, and, and tell us about it. I don't know if they have the two, there it is, and, and, and the Tell us about the DeLorean in the book, and, and then I'm going to ask you about how you got here today as well. Oh, okay. Well, um, uh, I've, you know, DeLorean has always been my favorite, uh, yeah. my favorite car, and I've wanted one since I was 10 years old, and, and, uh, and it's also, like, the only car that I can think of that's uh, immediately it's associated. Pure 80s. It's pure 80s. Yeah. It's asso it's, it was only made in the 80s, and, yeah. it's, and it's associated with the 80s, and it also um, uh, uh, is associated with time travel, and everybody has kind of fond memories of it from their childhood, yeah. so I wanted, you know, since I, I couldn't afford to have my own DeLorean, I decided, and, and my book is kind of wish fulfillment, I decided right. to have my protagonist drive a DeLorean, but then when I sold the book, um, it occurred to me that uh, I, need one of these. I need one of these and I could use it for my book tour and use it for my author yep. photo and then it becomes a business expense and my wife totally can't uh, shut that down. And that's the flux capacitor. Right? And that this is, this is an authentic one, isn't it? It is. A uh, fellow in Florida, fluxcapacitors.com, folks, yeah. if you're interested in getting one. I love the internet. Uh, 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 they made it happen. But yeah, I, I had the car for about a month and everybody in Austin who uh, saw it uh, was really enthusiastic, but they always ask, where's your flux capacitor? Right, so I sure. realized it was my obligation as a had DeLorean to owner to, to obtain one. And, uh, um, yeah, so it's, it's so much fun. And, you know, I'll, I'll park it at, uh, uh, at the store and come out. And yeah. there's, a, you know, always a crowd of 10 people gathered around it. And people get a really kick, yeah, uh, kick out of it. Find. All right, let's talk about your events coming up. you got two book signings coming up uh, here that people can, can go down and see you, get it signed, and, and get the book. Where are we going to go? We're going to go... Uh, book people yeah. on uh, Tuesday night. Um, uh, they're going to do a huge event, uh, like kind of an 80s party. The DeLorean's going to be there, parked out front uh, with all of its, uh, mm -hmm. you know, gear tricked out so you can uh, take your photo with it yeah. and, and, and uh, sit in the car. And then uh, uh, they're, you know, playing 80s music and they're going to be people dressing up in, you know, 80s attire and it's really overwhelming. It's going to be uh, awesome. And then 
Um, so my fa I get to do a reading at my favorite bookstore yeah. uh, in the world, Book People, and then the following night I'm reading at my favorite comic book store, uh, Austin Books and Comics, which is the you know my favorite comic book store in the world. So uh, it's going to be really exciting next week. I hope I hope folks can make it. We're going to do a Q and A too, right? People can actually. I mean, you the book signing, you stand in line, you get the sign, and out the door you go. But there's going to be a reading and a Q and A, and yes, there will be a Q and A, and I'm sure you know I'm going to get uh, uh, grilled by all the '80s fans for yeah. you know the, the maybe the things I didn't get correct or uh, things I forgot to mention. <laughs> A lot of people love to tell me stuff that I forgot to mention about the yeah. 80s. Yeah. Sean and I could have proofread that for you. All right. It's, well, uh, uh, it's just for, <laughs> for future work. Okay, when can we expect this to be on the big screen? Um, is that uh, a time frame yet? Warner Brothers is very excited about it, and uh, they're really excited about the reception that the book's receiving, so uh, I, they seem to want to move on it really quick. It yeah. could be, you know, uh, next year or the year after. Who, uh, I don't know. Fingers crossed. Boy, great success. Good to have you here. Ready Player One is the book, and... and Everybody seems to love it, so thanks for being here. Thank you so much for having me. This was, was a blast. It, was it true you got a ticket on the way over? It's true I got a speeding ticket. I did <laughs> in not. The, in the DeLorean. Right, up, ask oh, right on MLK. Yeah, uh, well, a cop wouldn't let me go. You drive a car that the doors come up like wings. <laughs> Expect <laughs> a little more of that. Right. <laughs> Ernest, good to see you. Thank Still you.